Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today, we're gonna have a look and listen to Mini Pole from Karani Sounds. This is a four voice analog synthesizer with a smart random control, which is really cool. So before we get started checking this one out, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and of course hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos, freebies, and great deals just like this. All right, so let's check out Minipole from Karani Sounds. This is a standalone VST plugin. Uh, they do make libraries for contact as well. So if you hear the name Karani Sounds and you're like, oh, they, I don't have contact full, have no fear. Minipole is a standalone VST plugin and it's really cool. So I have loaded up just nothing really. I've kind of just randomized some things. I loaded up the initial preset. I'm going to show you a bit how this works uh, because I'm very familiar with it and I also did their official walkthrough for them. So I should know this one. So there are four different oscillators here. You can scroll through them by clicking on one of them and dragging up and down. It's a very simple kind of visual interface, but it's also easy to overlook. So here are your oscillators, sine, square, sawtooth, and everything, triangle. So you can do that to change the oscillators. Another way to change things is to go down here, which is the smart randomizer bar. And everything here is color coded, as you can see. This is obviously the wave form there. It's a little sine wave going up and down. And it's also color coded to these colors there. So we click this and that randomizes all four of these oscillators. So that randomizes your oscillators. This one is red. So guess what that randomizes? The gain controls here. And down there, as you can see, but I have those turned off. That's the noise layer and the sub oscillator. I have them turned off for now, but this will randomize the gain. This one, as you can see, will randomize the octaves here, the fine tuning of each layer and the panning. You can see these change every time. Anything blue or green will get randomized by clicking this. I'm gonna turn on the sub and noise layers now because some of those are being controlled by this and check out a few of those. Then over here, we have the same smart random controls, but they apply to this block here, which is the ADSR controls for the gain, filter, filter type, filter amount, and the LFOs here. Already, we're getting some really cool sounds. And again, you can also randomize any of these if you find a, you know, ADS R and filter controls that you'd like, leave that alone, go up here. And of course, you also don't have to randomize. You can just change the waveforms manually or any of the controls. Um, finally, we have filter, delay, chorus, tone, which is an EQ, and then space, which is of course the reverb convolutions. So we can randomize those again, color-coded corresponding with those. You see that changes the delay type as well. Mm -hmm. 
And then finally, this master randomizer down here changes everything. In addition to all that, we do have some presets as well. So this is a really cool plugin. Again, I'm very familiar with it. I do not work for them. I just do the walkthrough. So I do not profit if you choose to buy this. I'm just a fan of it. Um, so that is mini poll from Karani Sounds. It's very simple, but it's also very complex and it could be kind of an all-in-one analog synth sounding plugin because it does so many things well. Uh, great filters, great LFOs, and again, the random controls are what set this apart. You heard how many new sounds kind of are created just with the click of a button. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick look at Minipol, and I will see you next time.